Jay, could you talk about Joe Barry's style a little bit? He seems to suck. He's so enthusiastic out there. Is that something you knew or all the time about him? Or yeah, I worked with him in Tampa a little bit, and he was a position coach in Tampa, so I got to know him and see his coaching style there. But, you know, as a coordinator, I haven't been around him. You know, he's a coordinator in Detroit, obviously. and uh, But I know him as a coach, and I know what kind of energy and passion he has for the game, and uh, that's just his identity. That's who he is. D'Angelo, last week when we were out here, he was doing individuals. Today, he's basically a coach on the sidelines. Is that part of the protocol, or does he have a setback? No, he's had no setback. We're just part of the protocol. You know, we just want to make sure he's going through the right rehab steps and, and the process. We want to make sure that thing's 100%. And uh, I think training camp's a good start for him to get rolling, start the individual drills in training camp and uh, start some team drills in training camp. Uh, right now it's about uh, continue the rehab process, make sure that thing's 100%. What can you tell us about uh, Trent and kind of why he's being held out and then also Jordan Reed, what's the long-term prognosis? You know, Trent there? had that ankle issue a little bit last year at the end of last year and, um, you know, and, and you know, he tried to go in the Pro Bowl, but obviously couldn't go. And then uh, in the offseason, he, he did some things in phase one and uh, just felt like it was a little sore. So he just uh, going to take some time off and rehab it and we're going to make sure he's right for training camp because we don't want that thing to be you know, good one week, bad the next week. We want to make sure we get that thing fully strengthened so he's good to go for training camp. And uh, Jordan Reed? Uh, same with Jordan, really. You know, he had a little process, but uh, wasn't a scope. It's just he's had some nagging soreness with that knee. And this is a time where uh, we get a chance for them to work out in the weight room still, build their upper body strength, but uh, make sure that uh, the things that really make their money, Jordan needs legs, man. He needs to have those things 100%. We're going to make sure he's right for training camp. Jay, um Deshaun obviously missed last week. You, you, it was an excused absence. We know that. But can you talk about just, first of all, what you saw in him today? Does it look like he even missed time? And as a coach, how do you balance? You know, obviously they're voluntary, but you want guys here, but you know that it's important for them, I guess, to take care of other things as well. Yeah, I mean, they have lives. You know, you know, this is a major part of what they do. Obviously, we'd love to have everybody here 100%. I don't, I don't know how many teams have 100%, but uh, you know, I think we've had great participation you know, overall uh, from top to bottom of our roster. He missed a little bit of time, uh, but uh, he had reasons for it. And I trust the fact that when he does come back and when he has come back, that he's going to be in great shape. He's a veteran guy who knows the system. He's an extremely intelligent uh, person. Um, we'll, I would love to have had him here, but it's his choice not to be here. And he uh, came back. He looks like he's in good shape. Didn't miss a beat. You had uh, last since, uh, since last week, Tracy Porter and Chris Chester, we're both let go. Can you just tell us a little bit about those decisions and what went into it? Yeah, well, you know, Chris Chester gave us, you know, some great time, man. He's a great person and uh, played really hard for us, did everything right. You know, it was just unfortunate. We just decided to go in a different direction in both cases. You know, I think the emergence of, uh, you know, we're hoping Spencer Long. Uh, we drafted Quan Joe. You know, we have Larebus in town or in house already. We have some guards, I think, that can fill in uh, and play. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, we thought it was time to move on from uh, those two players, but uh, nothing but positive things to say about them, and, and I wish them nothing but the best in Atlanta. Jay, you mentioned uh, Larebus there. It looked like he was working at guard with the second team, but was working with uh, the first team a little bit at center. It, do you maybe see him uh, playing at center this year? That's important. It really is because that's the one thing that we're missing with Chris. You know, if something were to happen to Corey in a game, uh, Chris was our backup center. So we have to train another guy to be a center, and Josh is taking the right steps to do that. Uh, we'll have some backup centers in-house if something were to happen long term, but it's important on game day that we have a backup center. And right now, Josh is working hard at it. Spencer Long is also working at it. Uh, so we have to have that covered. One of the things we talked about at the end of last year was just Robert's kind of timing and quickness on the reads. Today was kind of the first time we got a chance to see some of that in action on the goal line, the, the two minute and all that. Where is he at in that progression? Where would you like to see him evolve between now and, and week one? Well, I think he's taking the right steps. You know, it's, it's still uh, OTAs. Nobody's hitting on all that good stuff, but we are getting some great looks from our defense. You know, we're in shorts, uh, but we're getting some good full speed looks. You know, there's no contact, obviously. Uh, but the timing, the rhythm of your offense still has to be intact. Uh, defense hustling, getting to their zone drops has to be sound in what you're doing. And decisions have to be made. And he's going through the process, relearning everything, studying, uh, going through the right progressions, making a mistake here and there. But we're learning. And all of us are learning about each other and, and uh, trying to do right. Because this is a different defense we're seeing and we're accustomed to in OTAs. You know, they're, we're learning as an offensive group. You're learning about Joe Barry's scheme and they're learning about our scheme. So. Um, but overall, I think all three quarterbacks have uh, done some good things, and all three of them 
as you always do, or have some plays they wish they had back. But you're learning from them. You're continuing to coach them, and they're getting more and more reps and more and more confidence, which is good.